Hey everybody, it is our third round of playoffs in the California State Varsity Rocket League Championship. Um, we are pretty excited for today. First up, I just want to pop this graph on up here. This is uh, ranks in Rocket League. And you can end up looking at basically percentiles. I think my head's right in the way. Oh, maybe not, maybe not. Uh, anyway, today we are kind of nervous, but kind of excited. We are up against multiple grand champs in the opposing team. I think even just one or two divisions away from Supersonic Legends. Anyway, I'll come back to that later. Let's jump into the game. Alrighty. So, Oakmont is blue. We're cheering for the blue team. And our opponents today are... Let's see. The Royal Crusade from Quartz Hill High School. So, good luck. Have fun to our opponents. And, oh, a super long range shot by Husk, and our opponents are first up on the board today. That was clear across the field. Defense was quite, not quite able to rotate back in time. All right, and on our team here, we got Ben Joseph, we got Austin, we got Ethan, and then Raphael will be subbing in um, in a later match here. Shout out also to Jose. Um, our fifth player on our team. All right. There goes Airborne. We're able to stop that midair. Nice aerial on Ethan. Joey's there for the follow-up. And it looks like Austin is going to rotate back and try to contest this. Aerial shot misses, but it is on the backboard and is close to our goal. And the follow-up is there. Second goal goes to Roybin. Now, the team we're up against today has not yet been defeated this entire season, from what I can tell. They have a 21-3 game record, um, winning every single set of matches, uh, and are ranked, I think, third in California at the moment. So we definitely have our work cut out for us. Oh, oh, the fake! All right, Roybin slips it right behind. Our defender was kind of in place. Looks like Austin. Oh no, he got bumped. That's what happened. Okay, somebody just uh, yeah cut his legs out from under him there right before he was gonna go in and defend that. Very effective coordination there. All right, Joey's able to get control of the ball here. It's in their corner. Let's see if we see a center. They take control of it. It is center though. Not gonna be enough to get a shot off. It's going too fast. You can tell the rate of play here is about as high as I've ever seen it coming out of our team. Oh. And nice combo there, centered to j uh, assist from one of their players. Joey goes airborne, he thinks he's deflected it. Our multiple players are coming in, but you can see that it's just too quick of a follow-up. And of course, once we're airborne, momentum takes over and you just kind of go. You cannot redirect that very easily. All right, Ethan sends it sideways. Uh, Roybin up in the sky, taking control of it. Austin's able to make a nice save. And the pressure is on. Uh-oh. Oh, no! Another goal by Roygen. We're looking at a pretty lopsided game so far. There's an incredible shots and pressure coming in at a high speed. It seems like we're just not... Not quite predicting where the ball's gonna go. They're coming in at some sneaky angles here. It's Us bring it up and wow what happened there I didn't see that all the way Let's see very long pass oh wow Roybin's just sitting there lurking like over the goal like who sees that coming that's like the Spanish Inquisition right there what the heck I haven't seen anybody just hover over the goal like that before that's crazy oh wow uh-oh, and we are one point away from a supersonic blowout here. That's brutal. All right, we got three minutes. Let's see if we can hold out here. I want to see some time in between there. Oh, kind of a defensive whip, slowing down pace of play there. That works. Uh, easy intercept by Jay. 
Nicely directed ball there. All three of them are in place in the goal though, and now they're going to be flying the other direction. Balls move quickly back to their court. Nice defensive play. Um, some serious air freestyling here, going over defender. Joey's able to predict where it lands though and get in the way of that. Joey's able to knock it sideways. Looks like Austin had emergency follow-up there just in case they didn't go through. Yeah, defense is starting to harden up here. That's good. I like that S-curve juking trying to throw us off on when they're actually going to hit it back the other way. All right. Um, man, and you can tell, like, the game's moving fast because those big 100% boost pads are, are, like, empty on the side of the play. And you can see people rotating just to get boosts. I don't think I've ever seen so many pads down at the same time. All right! First goal for Oakmont. Let's go, Ethan. Nice job. Nice steal by Joey. And then Ethan's able to rotate it in with some really fancy aerial work. Pretty good. All right. Let's do it again. Oh, double commit. Able to stall the ball pretty much and hold it in the center. Um, at this point, Billy's contesting with Ruben there, trying to get control there. Um, and a nice long shot by Joey sends it all the way back the other way. It buys us a little time here. All three of them committing airborne. Oh, nice intercept. I think we're starting to pick up on that, like, hover above the goal thing, getting it out of there quicker. That's good. Um, some crazy freestyling going on there. See that spin rotation strategy. Ball goes up over the top. It's coming down. Roybin. Okay. Just recenters it. Wow. Both teams playing really well. Some of these moves are very high skill. Hey, okay, another news, if you're an Oakmont student and you're interested in Super Smash, we're going to be having a team meeting on December 10th. We'll do our first season in the spring here. Same thing with 10-minute um, chess, if you're interested in either of those games. Ooh, nice shot there. It was a little wide. Defenders picked that back up. And we have the rotation. Do we have the follow-up? Oh, it goes high! It goes off the top! That was so close! The goal was open! Darn! Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh! Woo! Nice clear by Ethan. Dude, I feel like Oakmont's picking it up. That, you know, first couple minutes was rough, but we have stabilized. And Ball's now been airborne for quite a while. Let's see if this gets grounded or not or what. All right, so game one goes to the Royal Crusade from Quartz Hills High School, well played. All right, we might be subbing in Raphael here, I'm not quite sure. Anyway, uh, like we were saying earlier, uh, here's our team. We got Austin, Ethan, Ben Joseph, uh, Jose, and Raphael been a pretty good season um shout out to our sponsors fire up for getting us game time every wednesday at their awesome venue not too far from our campus um thanks also to mobilitics our district um school districts everybody that's helped us out here really appreciate it uh oh i lost connection not sure what happened with that here we go all right I think we're all here. And it looks like we have switched to orange. That's all good. Also looks like we are still playing our original lineup. Haven't switched in Raphael yet. Okay, so this is match two in a best of seven with Quartz High School taking the first match. 
All right, gotta remember, we're orange now, okay? Orange. All right, Ethan with a little bit of a clear to the side. Um, Whiff initially on offense there. And we get by one defender, but the second one sends it back up and airborne and they're able to push that back to our end. Ooh, that came in just off the top. We gotta keep that high and out of there. All right, Husk should be able to send that back. Looks like we're gonna try to keep it and get it centered here. Um, our our uh, striker does not connect through. And Joey's able to steal that. All right, and nice save by Ethan. Other team is putting multiple shots on the goal though. Let's see if Austin can bring this forward here. Ooh, not sure what that was. All right, and they're able to slip by Joey. Uh-oh, this is wide open. And Husk takes the shot, goes in. That is Quartz Hills 1, Oakmont 0. All right, come on, Oakmont, let's go. Let's get some defense going. All right, Ben Joseph's putting the pressure on. Is there any follow up there? No, Austin misses, Ethan misses, and now we gotta get back fast because that rotation is coming in towards the goal. That redirect comes through and Husk gets a second one with a heavily angled shot. This is like a death from above here. I don't think we've seen so many shots coming in, you know, at a steep angle from down above the goal. That is definitely harder to defend. A little bit of a fake attempt by Joey. And does it go through? No, but it almost gets to their goal. That was cool. Uh, everybody's sizing each other up. Do we have a disconnect? Why is everybody slowing down? What's going on? I don't even know. Okay, all right, never mind. No, we're good. Just a little bit of a couple fake attempts there. All right, Husk is able to get right past one of our defenders. Austin's trying to get back in place. He does get them out of the way, but with our defender demolished by Husk, Roybin's able to shoot that one in. Um, watch this combo right here. See the boost? Passes it and then goes for the demo, all in, all within like a fraction of a second. Skills. All right, we see some attempts to get there quickly, about 50s to the left. Some fancy aerials, kind of redirecting that down the court. And are we ahead of that or behind that? Okay, luckily shot goes wide, because I'm not sure we were ahead of the ball far enough to actually defend that well. Um, Ethan going for just a kind of random deflection attempt. Usk is going up. And I'm worried that shot comes in. Yep, goes right over the defender with the assist from Roybin. Well, I mean, technically he's the shooter, but Roybin just kind of redirected that up over the goal. You know, momentum came from Husk's vehicle. And it looks like uh, Joey was almost in place to cover that. Now, Quartz 4, Oakmont 0. Oh, that's a nice wide shot there. Nice pass back. I don't think... Austin's in kind of the pace in the right direction to be able to pressure that though. Boom! All right, goes up, goes centered. It's hard to see from our camera perspective how their cameras are looking on aerials. Let's see, let's just jump to one of our players for a second. We'll get it from uh, Austin's view here for a second. All right, so he's kind of rallying back. And you can see how he's looking to center this. But it's going to go too high for us to be able to do anything with that particular cross. And jumping now to Joey. Here he is trying to keep it up and above our goal. And keep it from bouncing too far towards center off that. Because we know they can get those shots in very easily. We've seen them do it a couple times now. Alright. Nice push by Austin. Is he going to be able to stay on that? Yep. But the defense is in place already and it's coming back our way only moments after we cleared it. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. This is bad. Whew, okay, that, that looked bad for a second. I just felt like imminent demise was approaching. Oh, there we go. Is that going in? Oh no, we're not able to angle it down. We bumped it back up. All right, maybe that is the difference between, you know, Grand Champ 1 and Grand Champ 2 or whatever crazy ranks these awesome Rocket League players are, are competing at.
I don't know, for me, it's a good day when it's airborne and they actually touch the ball. Oh, nice redirect down. Is there a follow-up? Yep, yep, it's centered, but defense is there. It's back in the corner. All right. And here's Ethan. He's rallied back. He's making sure to get the boost before the other player did. That's interesting. Um, he's just going around stealing boost plates. I'm um, trying to do boost denial. Uh, very valid, because their aerial moves are, I think, maybe kind of have a leg up on ours. We can keep them out of the air with that simple of a tactic. That's... That's actually real smart. I like it. How did they even keep track of where the other players are? The ball's moving around so fast. Yeah, caution viewers. Hopefully you guys aren't getting uh, motion sickness just watching this. This is crazy. Oh, demo comes through. All right, director Kim here. Oh, and the demo was there for the one-two punch on the score comes Husk, Demo comes through, nobody's in goal, boom. All right, it's now 5-0 with 19 seconds in match two. I think this is going Quartz High School's uh, way here. All right, Ethan going up for a shot. Center's there, the follow-up is not. And uh, I do think that Joey's gonna be able to get this out of our goal and ground it before they're able to shoot, but let's see what happens. We just need to ground this at this point. There we go. Alrighty, match two, match two. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, let me go this way. What you're looking at here is our bracket. Um, so it's the bottom of the play versus CAF varsity bracket. Um, good stuff. And uh, yep, you can see Royal Crusade and Oakmont Ragnarok at the bottom there. Uh, it looks like if Royal Crusade wins, they'll have to play one of their own teammates, own school. They actually have two teams in playoffs. They have 14 teams overall. I was kind of impressed to see the size and scope of their program. Anyway, let's get back in game here. Alrighty. And this is now match three in a best of seven. Let's see if Oakmont can turn this around. Raphael's in. Alright, let's go. Let's see what he can do. Oh, and a bump from Ethan just to keep the other guy away. All right, that works. Um, and we are orange this round. Keep cheering for the orange team. All right, Austin's able to bump it up. Ethan misses in an aerial. Uh, not able to direct that in goal. And it almost just rolls in from the side there. Let's see, all right, woo! Okay, that was a little too close, too long for my comfort. Ethan's able to shoot that in. Oh, and Ruben makes a nice save. Austin takes a nice shot. Too bad that didn't quite connect. Fraction of a second of possibly making a goal here for Oakmont. All right, Ethan's trying to contest that and steal it, but I think the defenders have it well in hand. Ethan's gonna try again though. He does take control, but unfortunately not in the direction we need it to. It might come that, oh no, that's our goal. Oh, to get it out of there. <laughs> I can't even tell which way we're aimed. <laughs> Dang, that was multiple hits in one aerial there. Kind of cool. You can see people kind of rotating and turning to get different aspects of their hitboxes on the car, as well as to redirect the angle that it's headed. All right, good, good, good. Let's see that thing get pushed towards the blue goal. That's what I like. Nice intercept. Raphael grabs it, keeps it back in their end. Well played. Oh! Oh! Actually, okay, so you know you never want to cross your own goal, but in that case, everybody was set up on the far side, and that cross was actually really, really big brain. The rare instances to going into, wow, just sitting there, or, whoa, we got it, we got it! Austin, that was a hero defense move right there. I, I was sure that thing was just in our goal. Bounced it out at the last second. That was impressive. Wow. The fancy pants dribbling going on. Oop. And goes right over our defense, unfortunately. Luckily, shot goes wide. Us gets another demo. Trying to clean up our, our goalie there. 
Um, luckily, the follow-up pressure's not there, but here comes another one of those crazy sinkers. Let's see what happens. There we go. All right. This is a much closer game here. Oakmon is still 0-0 with this incredible team we're playing against. Oh, okay. And I, I shouldn't say that. Knock on wood. Or, uh, what did that? What did I do? I, ju I just jinxed us there. My bad. That was a nice sideways goal there. And Raphael's almost able to deflect that, but it's just a little too far out. Alright, this is our closest game yet. We can, you can tell we're tightening it up. Let's see if we can get a point here. Oh no! Usk is able to go right over everybody. Pretty good. All right, he's 50 there. And I think a little bit of confusion, but it worked out. Oh, oh. Nice demo. And now it's headed back our way, unfortunately. Let's see if people are there in time. That's some fancy freestyling. Does go over two of our defenders. Is the follow-up there? Not quite. They can't quite get the angle on that. So, ah, uh, that was okay. Woo, went wide. Um, incredible pressure here. And I, I'm assuming our players are pretty boost-starved, having been, you know, sitting on defense there in our own goal for a sec. So, one reason you might not see people going airborne is simply lack of boost. Um, and for that, we need to just get these rotations going. Oh, goes high again. All right, Ethan's able to clear that. I think he's not in control of it necessarily, but that's okay, our follow-up is there. Um, Raphael takes a shot, goes to the right, and the other team's able to pick that back up. And this time, it's Ethan in the goal. First one goes high, but the second one goes through, so Husk for yet another goal. are able to kind of double commit that on purpose and get the follow-up there. Excellent. Um, now Austin's back in goal and Raphael's rotated forward. Makes a nice save. Here comes that dangerous setup again we've seen over and over again. Nope. Okay. Not this time. Okay, yeah, they're coming in that 12 o'clock high style again. All right. Nice uh, redirect by Raphael there. Keeps it on their side of the field at the very least. And let's see what, what they can do with this. Raphael's centered. Nope, nope. Uh, we lose control. It's going back our way. We're going to have to rotate fast. There we go. We're in position. A demo attempt fails as, we, as they jump right over us and keep that ball kind of airborne. All right, and we are now out of the clock. So as soon as this thing is grounded, it is Quartz High School for another point in the series. I believe that's uh, Quartz High School 3, Oakmont 0 in this best of four. We have one more match to try to turn this around here. I'm liking that the score gap is closing. Um, you know, 3-0 only this game. First game was what, like 7-1 or something? Um, so that's progress. Let's see if we can actually pick one up in this series. Come on, Oakmont. Let's see this. Let's go. All right, we are blue this time. Okay, playing a little bit slow. And then deliberately holding the ball, just seeing what's going to happen there. I like it. Um, nice deflection there to keep it on the side where we have more of our defense set up. I'm worried about these tall air burns right in front of our goal, though, and that is why. All right, we do not want to pop it up right in front of our goal. Um, of course, not a whole lot we can do about that, because it was either that or lose control. So. Hey, 
a shout out to uh, Miss Dela Cruz or Miss Liz for watching the computer lab today while I'm streaming from home. Thank you very much. Whoa, fast pace intercept by Robin brings it all the way down the field before we can do much of anything. Multiple deflections off the corner there, which is I think where we're trying to keep it. Um, but let's see if that... Oh! Husk again! Alright, skills. Well played. Yep. And I think we were so concerned about that shot, which almost went in from Jay, that defense was all airborne and unable to respond when the rebound came through. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, it's coming in high, but that redirect is killer. You know what, this is like the closest thing I think I've watched to a couple of the pro games I've, I've watched. As far as the amount of time spent airborne and the way that they're angling in shots towards the goal, the number of hits in the air, just some high level rocketing. All right, Husk steals it away. Jay's trying to center, Husk centers. Robin's coming in for a shot. Goes right off the cross beams. Goes high on a second try. Let's see if we can get this out of here before the third try. I'm not sure we can. Oh. Okay. They have figured out our weakness. Like, first of all, I don't know how many of us have boosted at any given point in time. And then secondly, once we're up, it's hard to redirect our momentum back down. So they're just kind of starting it out really high and then bouncing it straight down low. Real steep angle. Um, gonna make our team review these replays and learn how to do this because this is pretty cool strategy yeah. Nice steal by Joey. Let's go bring it up bring it up bring it up. Oh, okay. Jay intercepts All right, Austin smashes it out to the side Let's keep it there. All three of them, though, behind the ball with a lot of pressure on us. I'm not quite sure how this works. Oh, okay, Austin was like trying to get to cross it in an instant there. I see what he's doing. That makes sense. Oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Yep, smash it. Oh, and I think that one worked against us, but valiant effort. so scary oh get it out of there oh man look at that they're like how do you defend against that it just keeps coming back towards you we stopped like a bunch of different shots on the goal oh just like backflip tips it in how do you stop that I don't know You know, it's possible that Oakmont got beaten by the state champs. We'll see what happens here. I'm not sure this is getting turned around at this point. I would like to see some goals though, so I hope we keep playing aggressive. Don't get too bottled up here. Double, triple, quadruple fake. Nobody goes for it. I do not understand that meta. <laughs> Get the ball. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, a little bit of a demo. That helps. I like it. That could work. Ooh, nicely done. Right over a defender. Um, unfortunately, their defense is there and knocks it up and over and out of their ability to shoot. Second demo coming through. That works. Are we gonna get there in time? I think so. They're going airborne though. They got an easy clear on that. Oh, but wait, what about the follow-up? What about the follow-up? Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> that was like very slow, bold defense there. I, 
That takes some guts. You see how slow that one car was moving, just paralleling the ball, keeping it away from any possible shooting? Like, if it was that close to my goal, I'd be panicking, boost would be on, I'd double jump randomly, like, yeah. All right, Raphael gets a, a shot. There we go. Oh, and I think they're stuck on each other? Okay. Not sure what that's about. Wait a second. I think this is the one minute courtesy period. It might be it might be the courtesy period. Well don't do that! I wanna play I wanna play Brazil versus Germany! Let's go hard, courts! <laughs> I play it anyway at the end just for fun here. We haven't done that yet this season. Alright, a little bit of a demo. And let's see here. Dave picks it back up. Brings it our way. Ruben goes aerial for it. And or let's see, Lethal, Bore, Austin, and Joey are both in the net. They're able to knock it out. Alright. Dave's kind of flipping forward to keep control of this. He's in goal. It's well rotated. Alright, Husk is going up. Six seconds left on the clock. Let's see what happens. And that'll probably do it. Alrighty. GG. So that concludes Oakmont's Rocket League season. Alright, so good game everybody. Um, awesome season. We're going to do it again in the spring. Uh, I think spring season should probably start up in late January or early February. Um, so yeah, we'll check that out. Um, Reminder, if you're streaming or watching, um, that we're gonna have a um, Super Smash Brother uh, meeting on December 10th to get that team started. And we'll of course also have League of Legends and Overwatch again for the spring season too. So, good game Rocket League. Way to go, Ethan, Austin, Ben Joseph, Raphael and Jose. Good season. We ended up top 16 in California, which I think is pretty great. Um, might tune in and check out some of the finals here with Play Versus for the official Varsity California stuff. So good game. And again, thanks for everybody's support. Watching if you enjoyed. Uh, make sure to follow and subscribe. And I'll catch you guys later.